Hi guys, could today have gone even better? We smashed it with NEO stock price, almost 4% up in one day. We smashed the 200 moving day average, the 50 day moving average, and all because of one thing, which was primarily Edison Yu, the Deutsche Bank analyst, which upgraded NEO stock price from $60 all the way up to $70 and maintained a buy rating. What was behind his $60 to $70 shift? Well, it's most probably, like he says in the article, the team raised their forecast for NEO's deliveries in the next year to 160k from 150k and raised their forecast for 2023 deliveries to 285k from 245k. They also raised their delivery forecast for NEO in 2025 significantly to 750k from 465k. As of press time, NEO is up 2.5% to $42.5 in pre-market trading on Thursday. He says we're gonna have around 160,000 cars in 2022. And after that, we're gonna have around 285K cars in 2023. And after that, in 2025, we're gonna have around 750K. Well, Edison Yu, he is pretty uh, conservative with his numbers because looking at what Neo is say, saying, William Lee is saying, we're gonna hit around 300k already by next year, which means we're gonna have what he's predicting in 2023 in 2022. And that 300k is a very conservative number considering the fact that they are already ready by next year to have a capacity with a double shift of around 600k cars. I mean, it's not only this that made him shift his price from 60 to 70 dollars it's also the launch of the et7 in january and the two other models which is the et5 and the cheaper model for the for the other brand that neo will have which will be pro most probably be called alpus up until now we know that it's called alpus i already said in the last video that we hit 600 value swap stations well looking at the swap stations we're going to have 750 by next year january but that's not the big point I want to discuss right now. Is the battery swap stations being a source of energy? Can you imagine in a couple of years when NEO has a couple of thousand battery swap stations all across China and they connect it to the grid? What will happen then? NEO will become an energy provider. They had already a deal with Sinopec. They had one battery swap station that they mutually built. But the future is very bright looking at NEO right now because they can very possibly become the next major energy provider in China combined with Sinopec. It can be a synergy between both companies and we all know that the CEO William Lee is somebody that loves synergies and um, cooperations between a lot of companies as he has a lot of subsidiaries and he's a guy that likes to do business with other guys. According to one of NEO's most prominent managers, he told us that there is a backlog of orders of at least 10K cars a month for the, for the last couple of months of the year, which means November and December, and that's it most probably. So we should expect a minimum of 10K cars for November and December, but that's not gonna be 10K because we're gonna get even more. Just looking at the fact that they just re-upgraded their factory, it gives them a capacity of around 12, 13, 14K a month, which I really believe we're gonna hit around 13K for October and November 13 to 14K. Because those backlogs, those sales that did not commit back in uh, October, they will have to be delivered by New Year. So much amazing news that we've got. We ended the day in the green, we're going up, Friday is coming and the weekend is there. I'm just going to enjoy my last day tomorrow and I truly believe we're going to hit $45 tomorrow because looking at how the graph acted, the chart acted today, we're seeing an upward movement, the trend has been broken. The most important metric right now was the 200 moving day average that got broken and we're going to go up from here on. I really believe we might go right now up to $50 and see what happens from there. I really hope that the earnings, the earnings will be detrimental for the movement of the stock price. If we can hit profitability, then believe me, this stock is really going to go to all time highs. Because let's not forget that Tesla, the biggest major factor that made Tesla move 
was the profitability once tesla got profitable they forgot everything then it's it was game over for every other car company in terms of market cap because once tesla got profitable it just was game over it went up and it shot all the way up up to a ginormous market valuation of 1.2 trillion right now which is out of the ordinary for any company in the world one of the most valuable companies in the world personally i believe that neo can become at least a 500 to 700 billion dollar company i don't believe it can become a trillion dollar company as it's a chinese company if hey if alibaba was a alibaba is a trillion dollar company in my eyes but because of the chinese sentiment the chinese narrative it's be, it being a chinese company controlled by the ccp it's not that easy for a company to succeed in the international markets especially if you're going public in a country like the us so anyway guys i hope you guys enjoy it enjoy the day enjoy your weekend enjoy your friday tomorrow because i really think we're going to go up by tomorrow a lot more hey stay long and strong guys ciao ciao